I had this question come in about, you know, should we allow our kids to date? And I know, especially like in homes like mine, it's always been no, it has always been no. But as I start to look around and I start to see other cultures, specifically the white culture, I noticed that a lot of them encourage their kids to date. And when I look at the future and I see adults and I see that there are so many white families that are married and that there are far more single black moms than there are single white moms. And although it exists on both sides, I'm, I'm noticing the differences and how drastic it is. And I have shifted my thought to allow my sons to date, but to teach them. And I remember a gentleman said to me, you can't protect your child from the world, but you can prepare your child for the world. And I think so often we try to protect our children from the world that we don't prepare them for the world. And I learned this in life and seeing how many black women had no concept or no idea of really birth control or contraceptives like they knew what it was but they didn't have an open line of communication with their mom when they got ready to become sexually active they couldn't go to their mom and say hey mom you know i'm i'm sex may become a thing just because i'm growing and i'm dating and i'm learning and i just want to be safe you know how to do this but I remember white women being like, hey, before I do this, let me go talk to my mom and get on birth control. And next thing I started to notice was I never met a white woman in, at my public school or at my private school that got pregnant. But my very own sister who was raised in the house with me as her big brother and my father who was in the house every day got pregnant at 16 years old and one of the things in our household sex was not a conversation and the one time my mom brought me contraceptives brought me some condoms my dad came in my room and took them back and when i talked to him about it later as an adult he said well, I thought that if I gave you condoms, it would be me condoning that you can have sex. And I said, did you ever consider that I would have sex if I wanted to have sex, whether whether you condoned it or not? So what that led to was me having sex unprotected, which could have led to children out of wedlock and which could have led to multiple diseases. Now, the Part of the reason, well, I wouldn't say part, but the main reason I do the work I do today is because God scared, scared me and spared me. So I was able to come through this, living this life and then able to share with others about, hey, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, because I've lived this, I've experienced this. So the way I think we should handle this and it's something to think about and to each their own because you got to raise your kids. But let your sons and daughters know that, hey, it's OK to date, but this is what you need to understand about dating. Dating is not for you to think about love and marriage in middle school, in high school. Dating is so that you learn how to communicate and how to coexist with the opposite sex. Dating is so you can learn more about the opposite sex and how they think and how they believe, but understand that you don't understand love and it will take you years and years to learn what love is and everything that comes with love. So you date more so like your friends with the opposite sex you're not playing marriage you're not playing house it's not about having sex it's about building real relationships and knowing that you can be friends with someone and you can talk to them and you can get along with them 
without having to have sex. And sex is very risky. It is dangerous. You can catch a STD, you can get pregnant, but more so than that, you form an emotional tie that can last for the rest of your life. So understand this, when you meet the person that you want to marry, you will regret not saving yourself for them because the person that you want to marry, that's the person you want to have children with. That's the person you want to see the world with. And that's the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. And there will be no greater feeling than being able to give that person all of you, to give them everything of you and not have to hang your head in shame knowing that you are not special to this person because several other people have had you intimately, whether it was oral or whether it was intercourse. Other people have experienced the, experienced you and they can talk about that experience and they can share that experience with all their friends and all their family. And when you sleep around, you do not get cool points. You get fool points. People will applaud you to your face, but then call you a whore behind your back. You are not cool. You are not special. You actually look insecure, attention seeking and lame when you don't know the value of your body and when you don't understand that your body belongs to the person that you decide is worthy of your hand in marriage until death does you part. And that's what we need to teach our children about dating. Instead of just saying, you can't date, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't go here, you can't go there. We need to teach them about it. So last night, for example, my son wanted to do a spend the night with his friend and all the boys going over. And I'm like, listen, I don't do last minute plans, but because your mom okay with it, because she talked to his mom, I'm going to approve it this time, but don't try me again because I need to know what you're planning to do. And when you got something planned, you need to be stacking days of greatness because you got goals and you got plans. So you need to be stacking days of greatness and you need to be doing what you're supposed to do so that you have something to withdraw from. But if you've been sleeping in at 12 o'clock and then you get on the video game and you playing the video game all day and then you eating up all my groceries and then you come asking me, can you go out and spend money when you've done nothing towards the goals that you say you have, the answer going to be no. And so it's OK for us to allow our children some freedom and some space. But we got to teach with it and we got to ex express the expectation. So if you let your daughter or your son date and you've taught them about sex, you've taught them about STDs and you've taught them about soul ties. You've taught them about marriage. You've taught them about love. You've taught them about friendship with the opposite sex. And they go out and they decide to have sex. And they decide or to have sex unprotected. And they get pregnant or they get herpes. Now you can say, I love you. I told you. I tried. But you made your decision. And another lesson in life is we have freedom of choice. But we don't have freedom of consequence. There is a consequence or a reward for the choices you make in your life. Choose wisely. Hey, this is Tony Gas. Of course, this can go way deeper. We're going to touch on this and we'll have different videos on this topic. But we'll talk about it over time. God bless you. Take care. We'll talk soon.